We're looking at the High Boy S2 Max. Some photos I took from a very quirky part of California called the Salton Sea. It's a computer scooter with 48 volts, 11.6 amp hours of battery. So a lot of battery capacity and a commuter oriented scooter. Um, so no suspension on this scooter. You got 10 inch tubeless air tires. So you got that extra durability from a tubeless tire. Tire changes on these kind of scooters tend to be a real bear. So hopefully the tubeless tires hold up. I recommend getting some tire plugs for a quick and easy way to repair these in the case you get a flat, which unfortunately does happen sometimes. We got a 500 watt hub motor in the rear along with a kind of internal drum brake in the front. Uh, the drum brake does have a cutoff, so when you're throttling, it does kill power. Um, it's app enabled, a real simple display that I'll come look at it. But one of the things I really notice is this scooter is really stretched out. So I'll put in the dimensions for the deck will be down low, down in the description. But you really do notice the difference in how long the deck is. And with a longer wheelbase scooter, you tend, you seem to get a little bit of uh, almost some movement in the frame perhaps, but it seems to be very, very smooth riding. Much smoother than I was expecting from a scooter that's got no suspension. Um, like most high, high boys, has a very simple mechan pulling mechanism, just pulls up and then comes down and this slaps right into the stem here. And then it's Pretty portable, even though knowing that if you're going to be carrying this on a train or something, uh, this where the t front tire doesn't move, these do want to roll around as you're transporting them. So you just have to know that and you have to hold on to it more than you might one where the tire tips up and the deck is down on the ground. Very solid stem, like pretty much no movement in it at all. The throttle feels nice kickstands over on this side most of these scooters are 36 volt scooters this one's 48 and it's really promising some range long range so we're gonna do some riding there'll be a second video coming in with all the performance stats on this one so enjoy the riding footage and we'll talk to you soon just give you a quick look at the display so you get color bar uh, battery indicator on the bottom there's five bars single press turns the light off and on two presses get you from eco to uh, D, which I thought was comfort for C, and then S for sport. So the three different speeds. We'll start on Eco. This is a push to start scooter, so the throttle is not available from a stop, and uh, brakes over on the side, bell. So here we're on Eco mode. You got the indicator kind of current energy use there at the top. Uh, looks like we're about 11 miles per hour. The scooter feels very smooth. Like the acceleration, the throttle feel is great, actually. Um, really impressed by it. The, the way the button feels on the display is a little bit hokier. It's a little bit hard to get that pressed and really when you're moving, but it feels like you can actually take your hand off the handlebars for a second. So here we are in, in D and we're gonna see where we're at. Ride quality with the longer wheelbase and these tubeless tires, air tires, is is pretty. It's the best I've felt of a non-suspended scooter, and better than a lot of scooters with suspension. Pricey in there. There's a little bit of uh, battery sag under acceleration. Now we're gonna do one more press. Are we able to get it there? And we're gonna get into sport mode. So I've gotten it before where I got this speedometer showing 20, but we're right in this uh, range. We're pretty much where it tops out.
the handlebar height is at a really comfortable level. I haven't measured it yet, but that'll be down in the description. I really like the height of the handlebars. You, you might guess by the way I'm talking, I, I like the scooter a lot more than I've really liked any of these uh, kind of budget high boy unsuspended scooters. So now I'm going to show you how to put this into cruise control. Three presses there, you get that indicator. Um, you get an audible when it locks into cruise control, then an audible when it disengages. You can disengage either with the throttle or the brake. Acceleration feels quite brisk, really. With that 500 watt motor in the back, and it just, it just moves. It feels real smooth. Here, I'll let this ink. And the cruise control takes that pretty quickly. So we're there, we're in cruisy cruise, and boom, comes out of it. I, I really like the audible coming in and out of cruise control. This is a really bumpy, oh gosh, it's a, it's a little rough still on this. This is a pretty bad part of the neighborhood for pavement. Um, so it, it's a little rough, but it's doable. So now the cruise control does keep it, take up quick enough that if you don't want to use it, you'll probably find yourself bopping in and out of it quite often. The deck on scooter is not all that wide, but the length of it is, makes it for changing foot positions is quite easy. And I, I'm feeling pretty good traction from it. Here's some afternoon riding with the headlights on. I see some other riding footage here with some, we had a good time, me and my son out riding, so hope you get a feel for how this rides. We'll end here with one more picture from the Salton Sea. Thanks for watching.